What's up everyone? It's Wednesday, April 14th, 2021, 4.39 p.m., 61 Fahrenheit, 16 Celsius. And I'm in Coney Island on a overcast day. It's drizzling a little bit, but I hope it doesn't really turn into anything serious because I don't have an umbrella with me. Uh, boardwalk seems pretty quiet right now. The weather certainly doesn't help the uh, people around here to come out. But um, let's go on this walk through Brooklyn and see what we could find. Coney Island is a lot more busy during the weekends, especially because that's when the amusement parks are open and also more of these uh, boardwalk amenities like salt and sizzle, cheesesteaks and fries. But it's a little bit eerie seeing Coney Island with not too many people. Random videos saying looks like it's gonna rain. It might. I don't know if it is. It's drizzling a little bit. HNT with the $1.99. Thank you so much HNT. I didn't bring my umbrella today because in the forecast, it didn't say it was going to rain, it said it was sunny. So I'm out of luck if it does rain. Here's the Soarin' Eagle roller coaster ride. JLL, you want a Nathan's hot dog. Hot dogs are right at the corner there. Stillwell Avenue and Surf Avenue. There's the Thunderbolt roller coaster as well as a uh, the Coney Island Raceway attraction. That music is awfully loud. It's coming all the way over here. Black stream saying Coney Island is not an island, it's a peninsula. Used to be an island. And Coney Island was known for its population of rabbits. But since now the land is filled in to the mainland, it's not an island anymore, it's a peninsula. Just like where I was yesterday in Riverdale. Riverdale, um, Manhattan College is not in Manhattan, it's in the Bronx, but it used to be in Manhattan. Here we got the famous Coney Island art walls, which are not open right now. I'm not sure if they open on the weekend, but as of right now, they're not open. It's also really sad to see the Coney Island art walls defaced with graffiti. Like people don't have any respect for the artwork. This one's supposed to say, welcome to Coney Island. And it's all graffitied over. It's so disrespectful for the people who made this. Here's another one that's graffitied over inside the Coney Island art walls. You can see more over there. Karsten saying Miami Art District, Miami Windwood Walls are better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the Windwood Walls. I went there during my trip to Miami. You can actually see the video that I made there. Did they deface this one? Nope, they didn't. At least this one's not touched. Christopher, you share this on Facebook? Awesome. Anything helps if you want to share with friends, family, people you know, your, your uh, 
feel free to. Flex stream with the Warriors quote. The Warrior was a Warriors was a cult classic movie back in the 80s. Here's Coney Island's famous Nathan's Hot Dog Restaurant. If you didn't know this was the original, this wall tells you this is the original. Also, Nathan's has a lot more than just hot dogs. They have a clan bar here too, as well as seafood and a delicatessen. Thank you, Jerry M. with $4.99. Grew up in Sheep's Head Bay. I would love to see me walk on Avenue Z and on 23rd Street. Thank you, Action Kid, for your great work. Thank you, Jerry M. Appreciate it. Maybe we'll go there right now. Let's make a run for it. There we go. I caught the light timing just perfectly. Avenue Z and 23rd. Here we have the Coney Island subway station. Coney Island Stillwell Avenue subway station. Served by the D, F, N and Q trains. That's how I got here. I took the train to the last stop. Coney Island looks so different without all the people around and a sunny day. getting a little bit breezy. Guy Peters, you want me to take the Q train to Marine Park? Q train is definitely an option. I like this restaurant. Look at the way they did their exterior here. Cold brick oven pizza with a model Brooklyn Bridge. We're going to pass by the Coney Island Cyclone soon. It's the famous roller coaster, the wooden roller coaster. That was actually my first ever experience on a adult roller coaster. There's the Q train for those of you who asked about it. Ralph Rosa saying maybe I'll run into Dutch Maz there. Yep, Dutch Maz lives around here. The famous Wonder Wheel at Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park. This was also featured in the Warriors movie. Yeah, 365 Daywalker, the trains are both labeled by letters and numbers and colors as well. The colors designate the main branch of Manhattan where the trains run. The yellow trains run on Broadway, red trains are 7th Avenue and Broadway, uh, dark green trains are Lexington Avenue and Park Avenue, and the blue trains are 8th Avenue and the orange trains are 6th Avenue. That's how you know by the colors. But the other, um, the other ones, the letters and the numbers, they're just completely random. Maybe there's some kind of structure to it, like four, five, and six, they're sequential, and one, two, and three, but 
if you do like D, F, and M train, they're not sequential at all. So don't rely on the letters and numbers to tell you where the train's gonna go. Oh, and I also forgot the, uh, the crosstown routes, the L train, the gray line is uh, 14th Street and the purple line is the 42nd Street line. That's how you designate the, uh, the subway routes. Pony Island Cyclone. Wow, this is completely new. Terraza restaurant and lounge and Starbucks. Starbucks also has a drive through Yeah, Cafe Lo just is open now, but only on the weekends. This is a brand new Starbucks. It looks nice. Gordy saying they just opened that Starbucks last month. Awesome. So now Coney Island has a Starbucks option. There it is. The wooden roller coaster cyclone. Here's another subway station in Coney Island, the West 8th Street uh, New York Aquarium station. And the New York Aquarium is right across the street over there. Yeah, Cafe Lotus, the aquarium is open. I was there just a few weeks ago. And they do have uh, free Wednesdays. The main attraction at the aquarium is the shark exhibit. I also love this subway station with this tunnel here. It kind of looks like an aquarium. There's the F train. Here you can see the split between the two trains. The F train goes that way and the Q train goes that way. Clackety clack of the subway. Yes, it's very iconic to New York City. But in order to get to Sheep's Head Bay, I need to go left. Here's a very nice view of the Cyclone roller coaster. Steve saying live stream of the Cyclone. They didn't even let me bring a GoPro on a chest mount the last time I was there, so forget doing a live stream. And not only that, I don't even like roller coasters, at least adult ones. I can't handle the extremeness of it. It's just not my um, form of entertainment.
Cafe Lois, you thought they sh the cyclone got shut down? It's unsafe now? I didn't hear that. If it is, then um, I hope they can get all those safety issues resolved. SS asking if I'll go to Brighton Beach. Yes, I'm headed that way right now. Brighton Beach is coming up. Cafe Lowry is saying I ride all the way to Bear Mountain. The hills there are far crazier than the cyclone. Yeah, but at least the descents there and the hills, you can control your pace up it. With the cyclone, you have no choice but to go at their speed. Lily Lil asking if Brighton Beach is named after Brighton in United Kingdom. That I'm unsure about, although it is uh, very strange to have the same name. Let me check it out, because... Let me see here. Brighton Beach. I wonder where the etymology of the neighborhood came from. Uh, Jane saying one day I gotta go to Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens on 86th Street, get a Sicilian Square and some Spumoni. I've been there many times. Actually not a pizzeria that I would go out of my way for coming all the way from Queens to eat. I know many people in the area they swear by it when they're in the area but um, I don't think it's like that exciting of a pizza to go out of my way for. I liked how uh, One Bite Pizza reviews, uh, Bar Studio Sports reviews the pizza. It's a good football pizza. But their spumonis are pretty good though. I have to give them that. And uh, it's true that their Sicilian slices are better than the round slices. Let's see, uh, I'm still looking up Brighton Beach. Uh, all right, uh, it says here in 1868, William A. Engelman built a resort in the area. The resort was given the name Brighton Beach in 1878 by Henry C. Murphy and a group of businessmen, businessmen who chose to name as an allusion to the English resort town of Brighton. Oh, so it is. It, it does have a reference to the English Brighton, so you are correct on that. That's something new to me. So those of you watching from Brighton in England, you can say hello to Brighton Beach pretty soon. Uh, 365 saying Brighton in the UK has a pebble beach. No, we don't have a pebble, pebble beach in Brighton Beach. It's all sand. We're gonna go through this playground. Uh, Amy Jade asking if the Coney Island Park is open. It is open now, but it's only open on the weekends until Memorial Day. I actually did not know that they were only open on the weekday, uh, weekday, uh, weekends. I came here and I recorded a video of Coney Island and I was surprised by the lack of activity and the amusement parks being closed. Here's a nice little neighborhood playground. Come on, come on, do it. 
365, you've been to UK Brighton many times, sand is much more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine a pebble beach would not be too pleasant to walk on. I like this canopy that this play area has. I'm gonna exit onto this street over here. This is a street I haven't walked on before. Also some spaces available for rent at this building over here. Looks pretty nice. You're gonna hear some subway sounds though because one's crossing right now and you can hear it. Looks like this is called the Sea Breeze Tower. I like the name of it, Sea Breeze Tower. Also, there's a coffee shop coming to the first floor soon. Right there, Sea Breeze Pastry and Coffee Shop. I still don't know how to pronounce that first word. Patisserie? I think it's French. Yeah. What's oh, up? Channel. I'm an action kid on YouTube. Oh, can I see? Yeah. I, wanna, I like to watch YouTube channel. I go all around the city, make videos, and I do these walks. The channel. Action kid, one word. One word? Yeah, one word. Action kid. Which one? Oh, this is my channel though. Oh. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Darlene saying patisserie is like rotisserie. Oh, that makes sense. Rotisserie, rotisserie. Looks like I got another extra viewer on the street now. I really feel like the rain's gonna come down eventually. I'm gonna, I might have to find some cover if that happens. Here's uh, Sea Breeze Avenue and West 2nd Street. We're gonna walk underneath the subway right now. Snow Dove asking if I forgot my umbrella. I uh, didn't bring it because the forecast didn't call for rain. Mark says it's been an influx of Uzbeks. He definitely looks Central Asian. Yep, yeah, I would say he looks Central Asian as well.
In fact, we're coming up on the main commercial area of Brighton Beach now. This area is famous for its uh, former Soviet Union population. A lot of countries from Eastern Europe, Russia, Central Asia are represented here. Bordy, you went to the elementary school across the street. Oh, that one. That's Bordy's former elementary school. Or maybe it's this one. Not sure which one is which. Bordy's saying the one on the left. Okay, so it's that big one across the street. Claude asked me if I'm going to Sheepshead Bay. I plan to. Here's Royal Seafood. Someone mentioned if I could go to Kensington. I've been to uh, Kensington before. It's a nice neighborhood. I don't plan to go to Kensington in this live stream. It's quite gloomy under here with the scaffolding plus the subway and the overcast. This looks like something out of a scary movie here. I'm like serious. Alexander mentioning about our Roland Roaster in Sheepshead Bay. Yep, I've uh, passed by there before. People have mentioned about it many times. This is Brighton Beach Avenue. It's actually good I didn't bring my electric scooter and I should mention it, Charlie Chan, because it would have a little bit of issues with the rain if it does come. Here's Ocean Parkway. Ocean Parkway has a bike lane that goes all the way to Prospect Park. It's not my preferred method of traveling down to Coney Island, but at least it's functional. It's uh, tricky because it has a lot of these turns which drivers can like make quick turns and not see the bikers coming. It's not really my favorite route. Here's my Mandarin as a local grocery supermarket around here. Lots of fresh produce, 59 cents a pound for tomatoes and 39 cents a pound for peppers. And I smell the peaches from where I am now. It's gorgeous. Lily's saying the fruits look yummy. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's Big Bazaar. Over here, it doesn't really seem like New York City anymore. If you've been here, if you've never been here, it really looks like a different place. Dean saying tomatoes are so cheap there. Yeah, I find uh, 
the produce prices in here are below what what uh, major supermarket chains charge especially like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods in Manhattan Mr. Jow saying it's bizarre not bazaar uh, thanks for that correction If you want inexpensive groceries, you can come here to any of these uh, fruit and vegetable stores. Many people are obsessed with Trader Joe's, but I don't really find Trader Joe's as inexpensive as people may think. Take a look at this. The prices here are really good for tomatoes. $1.99 for stem tomatoes, $2.99 mandarin oranges. And here's uh, from Russia.com. They got a lot of nice stuff in here. I think I've featured them before. I went into the store just a little bit and I show the entranceway. Yuri is saying Aldi and Lidl for cheap, cheap groceries. Yeah, there was a Lidl store that opened in Astoria, Queens, and I heard there were a long there was a long line for it like two hours long just to get into the grocery store. Patrick B with HUF 699 Hungarian francs. Love my videos, greetings from Budapest. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate it. Forbin Colossus agrees with me. Trader Joe's crept up their prices as well. Let's cross the street here. Richard asking if I ever got a Bitcoin super chat. No. Oh, come on. That was a bad left turn. Uh, same, same pod to NYC. The new ferry did not start yet that's still being implemented. Roberto Castro is saying this is like GTA 4. Yes, this is the Hove Beach of GTA 4. But in reality, it's Brighton Beach. Antica Pharmacy and a local produce and supermarket store. Many of the products are listed in the Russian language, I believe. This spot is really busy. Vintage gourmet specialty food. It even looks very colorful in there. Take a look at some of these desserts in the window. Oh wow, it smells so good too. The 
Van Vin asking me to get some food. I would if I didn't eat already. There's another grocery store. Yeah, we talk music, that's the challenge. We go in New York City and a lot of food everywhere. International Food Court Store. A dollar a box for grapes. That's a good price. And salary is a dollar forty nine each. Which is also another incentive for them to keep their prices low. There's a really good supermarket here near the end of the subway where it turns called the Touch. The Shkent Market. I want to walk past it. It's always my um, favorite supermarket in the area whenever I get a chance to come down here and I'm hungry. I go over there to eat at the buffet section. It's really cool. Here's the Brighton Beach subway station, last stop on the B train, which runs express on the weekdays. Here's a Mexican food truck on Brighton Beach Avenue. Lars Fashion. Laura's Fashion. From the angle I looked at it before, it looked like the apostrophe was part of the letter. Andre, you didn't expect to see so many Russian stores. Yes. For people not used to New York City, you don't expect this either. Here's Palace Fried Chicken. It's actually pretty busy inside Palace Fried Chicken. There's people standing around waiting for their order. Here's the King Meat Market. We'll try to fix it. Let's avoid this sidewalk cellar and garbage bag area. Here's 
Kovaratka Cafe. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Skovaratka restaurant. Popeyes Louisiana chicken over here. And the Tashkent supermarket is right at the corner here. This is by far my favorite supermarket in the area, mainly because of its large selection of buffet foods. Tashkent supermarket. It can get quite busy in there, especially if you're shopping. Harmony 72, how many grocery stores are there? There's plenty. Even past the subway on Brighton Beach Avenue, that way, there's more. But I'm walking on Coney Island Avenue now, going north. Richard Cullen with a $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you, Richard Cullen. Appreciate it very much. XOXO saying it's Ramadan Mubarak, everyone. I did see a sign inside the Tashkent supermarket saying it's Ramadan. So I guess uh, happy Ramadan to you. Ritak asking if 360 live streams are possible. Yes. They are. Over here, Coney Island Avenue, there's also many businesses. Looks like that building is for sale over there. Uh, Ali, I think he has. I don't remember the last time he's done one though. I'm not really a big fan of 360 video in general. There's a little bit of people over here too. Sharon doesn't like 360 either. 360 is good in certain occasions. Like if you want to see what's around you, if it's busy, then the novelty of it is there. But if you're doing a regular walk like this, I don't think. 360 is necessary. Wow, is this a new place opening up? It looks pretty cool. Ellie Cafe. Really nice. 
Lynn saying, I remember when you went into that supermarket a few months ago. Oh, some road rage arguments here. I don't know what they were saying. But it looks like this driver is double parked in the right turn lane. Also inconsiderate because this bus is coming and didn't allow that other car to make the right turn. And going back to that Tashkent supermarket, I did make a video of that supermarket specifically because I thought it was that good. I went inside it and I showed all the uh, food options and everything. What is this, a tire shop? Yeah, it is. Hermano's Tire Shop. Pretty cool to have a tire shop here. Oh, it's easy. There are trash bins. They're just not very prevalent in some areas. And the way most of New York City does its garbage collection isn't really like the most sightly. I know it's strange for many people to see how New York City does this garbage. The uh, plastic bags are just laid out on the side of the road ready to be picked up. That's why uh, New York City also has a rodent problem too because the problem is Many of these rats and squirrels and other pests like raccoons, they rip open the bags and then they eat whatever trash is inside the bags. Here's Neptune Avenue. FCT on two wheels. You used to live in Bay Ridge. There used to be a flat tire fix place on 7th Ave. Well, this driver is way past the stop line. I didn't really see what that guy did to the camera. I saw him move his hand, but I wasn't sure if it was a wave or a sign of displeasure. <laughs> oh, Harmony 72, he did the horn thing, yep. The peace sign. How much is gasoline now? $2.89 for regular. Not bad. FCT 8306 on two wheels. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And he did this thing. I've done these before in the concerts I've been at. Here's uh, Guider Avenue or Guider Avenue. G-U-I-D-E-R. Not sure of the exact spelling. Thomas G. Henry with a $10 super chat. Marita loves your channel. A get well shout out 
from you might make her smile. All right. Marita, you better get well soon because if you don't, you're not going to be able to enjoy these videos too much. So get well soon. I'm uh, hoping you do. Thank you. Here's the entrance to the Belt Parkway. Also, Kingsboro Community College is this way. I'm almost to Avenue Z, by the way. I think the person who wanted me to go to Sheep's Head Bay told me to go to Avenue Z and 23rd Street. Avenue Z is right over this bridge. This is uh, not a great intersection to cross. It's very wide. I always don't like highway entrance and exit areas. I'll do well to wait for the light before I cross. I'll just translate those horn honks. It means go through the red light already. I'm getting impatience. Or maybe it was green and they were snoozing. In that case, it will be a little bit more forceful than that. Mike Landry, thank you for five bucks. Canadian, nice to see Brooklyn, Bevy, White, Zed, Halifax YouTuber. Only 30 subscribers away from a thousand. All right, Bevy YHZ, great YouTube live streamer from the east coast of Canada, the North Atlantic. If you want to uh, help her push above 1K subscribers, that'll be awesome. got some nice dogwood flowers blooming here. Harmony uh, saying people seem to be living more luxuriously in Florida than New York City from my videos. Yeah, that's what I observed too down there, especially near Miami, Miami Beach. Well, this is a rather unassuming bridge. Also, the Belt Parkway is notorious for traffic, and you can see it right here. Going westbound, there's some issues. Probably with a lot of the rush hour traffic too to get into Staten Island. Tiger Lily 2013 with a three pound 99. Thank you very much, Tiger Lily 2013. Appreciate it. Randall Mattel, $10. Light rain moving east, way south of me. Nice walk, or right. If it's moving south of me, that means that it's going to not come to my area. So that's awesome. Raj, thinking of moving to Brooklyn for a few months. How safe is Brooklyn? Have heard not so good reviews with respect to safety. Well, you're right on that. Brooklyn is the borough with the highest violent crime rate. But that's not to say that the entirety of 
the Brooklyn borough is unsafe to live in. There are really nice places to live in. You just have to scout it out and see what works best for you. But my recommendation to you is to um, just scout the area out, talk to some neighbors and see how the area is. And maybe if you're interested in an area of Brooklyn that I've covered before, watch my channel. Maybe I've walked through the neighborhood and you can get a sense of how the neighborhood is for your kind of lifestyle. Matthew also mentioning what's the best place to live in New York. That just depends on you. Some people, they like to live a little bit more conservatively, some people more luxuriously. But for most of us, like in the middle class, there are a lot of areas to live in in New York City. It doesn't have to be like midtown Manhattan in a luxury penthouse. Because if you're asking someone what's the best place to live and they have that kind of money, I'm thinking a lot of people will want to stay near Central Park in a penthouse if money is no exception. But if you don't have that kind of money to stay there, then you're not going to be living there. But New York is definitely a very expensive city to live in. I know many people who have to make sacrifices in order to live here. They room with like two or three other people sometimes, split the rent just to make ends meet and so they could live somewhere. All right, we're over the bridge. Here's Avenue Z. Oh, this is neat. They got a mini track and field here along with the Yoshino cherry trees. And the Yoshino trees are making a mess over the track and field. So if you're running over here, you might uh, get some cherry petals on your feet. Art Molina with a $4.99 super chat. Where's the best chopped cheese in New York City? And hi from San Jose, Cal California watch daily when I'm working makes me feel like you're in New York I love New York best chopped cheese that I'm not really sure about because I don't really usually get uh, chopped cheese from a store but I know there's some places in Little Italy where I pass in Manhattan where there's like some old-school Italian delis that specialize in that kind of stuff so I would assume there Coney Island Avenue and Avenue Z. Mighty Bull, that's where you used to live in, in New York, Avenue Z. I thought you always lived by the financial district, Mighty Bull. Your statue is always near the New York Stock Exchange or in that area. I like this barber shop, the way they set it up. The neon sign, I mean the LCD, Big Tony's Barber Shop. That's kind of cool. No parking, driveway, no parking. What happens? Someone parked in it. That's what happens in New York, folks. That's why many people, they go back to their car and they wonder, where in the world is my car? 
because they did not read or pay attention. Yo, hey, what's up, man? Take care. Yeah. This is Avenue Z East 11th Street, so I have a while to reach until 23rd. Bryant Benjamin, thank you for 499. Appreciate it. Hey, you want to say hi? Oh, yeah. Hey. What's up? What's up? Some yeah. Yo, Let's see it. Oh, wheelie. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so cool. Oh, Action Kid on YouTube. Yeah, I'm live right now. Thank you. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs> They're coming by now. I'm popular with the kids here. <laughs> I'm famous. That's what they're saying. Someone's blocking traffic right now. Here's the Lighthouse Daycare Center. It's no doubt they all took out their phones. Hey, hey, what's up? What's Again. Up? <laughs> Hi, Hello. 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 Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you can rewind and see yourselves a lot now. So. All right. Take it easy. Bye. I didn't want that to happen. I unbalanced the camera. Oopsie. That needs to be fixed. Uh-oh, I broke it. What happened here? Oh, I locked the, the joint there. All right, technical difficulties solved. Thank you, Mighty Bowl 499 Super Chat. Used to live on Homecrest Ave. I'm about to pass it straight ahead. And uh, Bevy YHZ 399 for the recommendation of a creator combo. Thank you, Bevy. I'm glad uh, you didn't ask the walking man dude on a recommendation for a camera. He probably would have told you to get a stick or something. But uh, Mighty Bull passing by his former neighborhood at Homecrest Avenue. Right here, Homecrest. Bevy said he would tell us to use nothing, just spin. Huh. I wonder what he would think anyway. I haven't actually seen the guy in a while. Speak of what the walking man dude is in the chat room. 
saying that's right no camera just spin what do you know he was watching the entire time walking man dude style will do something like this and just like spin around randomly but much faster I still don't know when he's going to put up his next video, but it's probably going to be even shakier than his previous one. Lakers8823 with $5. You enjoy me and Johnny Strive's videos. Thank you, Lakers8823. Appreciate it. You know what? I don't think I have ever been to this part of Brooklyn before, Avenue Z. Because there's a bunch of places here I didn't see before. But we're in Sheep's Head Bay now. Actually, you know, I, I recognize this area. Right there is uh, Sheep's Head Bay Road on the Q train. I've been down that way before, but I don't think I've... Uh, walked Avenue Z behind it too much. Beep, 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 beep. One honk wasn't enough. That's six honks now. And this driver is right in the crosswalk. I'm not gonna go behind him in case he decides to back up for whatever reason. David Phillips would Five dollars, David Phillips. Thank you so much. Wow, what is this? It looks cool. Well, that's not Pandora. Pandora is the jewelry company. Hey. hey bro. All right, bro, thanks. Shout out to my TikTok crew that go with the watch. Okay. You know, I just got on TikTok. I'm Action Kid TV on TikTok. You can look me up. Yeah. Yeah, we I just followed you. Thank you. No problem. All right. My TikTok is Kirill.go. Okay. Follow me. FN Law. Mine's Ac Action Kid TV on TikTok. Oh, All right. All right. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I have a TikTok now. I just made it uh, two days ago. Whoa, this is neat. I didn't see this mural before. Whoa. I guess this what this is what Sheep's Head Bay used to look like. They got the trolley tracks in the middle. Yeah. Can I shout my Insta? Yeah, go ahead. Hi. <laughs> you did fix. Follow me on Insta. Yo, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yo, I want to meet you. Yo. What's Follow, up? Me Follow, me Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, please. Follow this. Okay. I want to be famous. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bro, we got it. Guy I see all the time on yeah, the that's me. Yeah. Hey, I'm hey, what's up? Harry from Brooklyn, New York. All right. Today. We're so nice. Bro. Huh? And follow him. <laughs> and follow this guy. I see you all the time. S N. That's him. That's him. Oh, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Okay. I used to watch it when I was a little I kid. Seen you also. Yes. I seen you in Chinatown. I seen you in Chinatown. Yeah, Chinatown. I seen you over the city. Mm -hmm. I work on Gold Street, New York, New York. Okay. You're the Gold best. Street. Thank I you. I work for housing for 43 years. All right. Take care of all the problems. All right. See you later. See ya. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oh my god. What a mess. Everyone's coming to meet me. 
<laughs> wow. Well, I'm sure all those kids got their Instagram and the live stream now. If you could follow them, you can. Oh, this is uh, Emmons Avenue over here with the pier and all the boats. the B36 bus. Here's East 16th Street. I have a few blocks to go until I hit uh, 23rd. Bagel Boy. I wonder how Bagel Boy is. Talk saying bagel boy that's tempting yeah I'm um, curious how well bagel boy is if I'm ever in the area I may try it tiger lily 2013 499 pounds what's the betting the kids from back up the road phone all the kids further down the rest of the phone to look for me who knows I mean I wish um, I hope they don't follow me all the way down here. Here's East 17th Street. Looks like we're not going to get any rain anymore. I don't really feel any um, water on me. Is Chukarin Sushi. Sheep's Head Bay Fruits and Vegetable Markets. That's a plain canopy. It's just centered right in the middle of this red uh, area. But it looks like a large supermarket. Salvador Castro, $2. Come back to Washington Heights. I'll be missed. Yeah, I have to go back there. The last time I was there, I was just there for a few minutes to get over the George Washington Bridge and then back over. Yeah, Bordy, that market is huge. They also have a parking lot in the rear, too. Lot in the rear. Rob's saying they, did, they uh, miscalculated the size of that sign. Yeah, maybe it would have been better if they stretched it out and made it a little bit bigger so it fit the entire canopy. We're talking music, asking how many miles can I walk before I get very fatigued. That's a good question. I mean, um, 
hmm. Maybe if I walk like 10 miles, I'd feel it, but 20 miles, then I think I'll get really tired. But it also depends on a lot of things, weather conditions, uh, altitude, like steepness. On a flat surface like this, I can go for a long time. Here's a really cool spot. <laughs> to Dalton Exploits, you went to the school. This one, St. Mark Catholic Academy. Ooh. So this is your old school. And the, I guess this is a church right across the street is related to it. <laughs> TJ Dalton, that's your school. Here's another big street in the area, Ocean Avenue. Belt Parkway is to the right. That's that crowded highway that we saw earlier with lots of traffic. Prime Lady 4, I'm in your neighborhood walking by your bagel place and church. Oh, is the bagel place the bagel boy? I don't know how it is, or maybe it's over here, Ocean Avenue, Delhi, and Bagel. Also, this has to be one of the larger Rite Aid pharmacies I've seen. This one's open 24 hours. SS asking, have I ever heard the phrase, forget about it on my walks? Yes, I've heard in general conversation, like really quick. Like I'll be passing by someone and they say, like, you can just forget about it. Like in a conversational tone to somebody's response. But I don't really hear it like dramatically, like forget about it. I don't hear it like that. I just, I just hear, you can just forget about it. I hear it more in that context. Yeah, Ali is just in the movies. Looks like it's getting um, a little bit less commercial now. Now, past 22nd Street is all homes. This is the last of like the commercial stores. We got King's Deli and Grocery here. Aziza 7 Cafe, a laundromat. And over here, it looks like it's all new construction. Take a look at this, Duet School of Russian Ballet. So if you want to learn about Russian Ballet, you can sign up over here. Oh, Art Molina, what's the best, what are the best chopped cheese sandwiches in New York City? Well, um, that I'm still unsure about. I guess Katz's Deli might be a good option, although they really specialize in the meats and not 
so much the cheeses. Hey look, it's Jerome Avenue. I was just near Jerome Avenue yesterday when I was walking in the Bronx. But this is uh, Avenue Z and 23rd Street. Oh, Art doesn't have chopped cheese. Yeah, I'm not really too knowledgeable on chopped cheese, sorry. You could probably look it up. B is saying very much a Russian community where I am. Yes, Sheep's Head Bay has a large um, Eastern European and Russian population. Oh, that's the uh, the church bells. Chris asking if there's also a Chinatown in Sheep's Head Bay. Yes, I'm uh, headed to that direction right now. I'm not gonna be going to the Chinatown, I think specifically, but it's primarily located on Avenue U in the Homecrest section. Well, that was a very nice tune from the church there. And there's also a very charming residential block. Love the local cherry trees, the nice homes on the side. Let me see how they smell. I don't smell anything from the flowers, but they're pretty to look at. Tommy Two Guns saying the dogwood tree blooms are awesome. They are. I love how like they're all blooming all over the city now. It's just amazing. Rob 2006er, how do I pick my next location to walk? Is it random? Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're a little bit more spontaneous and Sometimes I need to be in an area for an event anyway, and I'll make my videos around there. These all look like single family and two family homes.
square bet asking how much are the homes in this area um i'm not too sure but you can probably check a website like zillow to find some comparables or like craigslist jbird d thank you so much for a five dollar super chat appreciate it jbird d uh jbird d Merck said Brooklyn used to be called the borough of churches. Mohammed asking if there's any community that lives here from Central East Asia. Yes, we just walked through it near um, Brighton Beach, Brighton Beach Avenue. And you could probably still say that we're in that area. Bella saying nice houses, but not like the ones in Riverdale. Yeah, it's uh, not like that over here. Loving this magnolia tree. Ebony saying it looks like Gravesend. Um, I haven't really been to Gravesend that much, but we're still in the Sheepshead Bay neighborhood of Brooklyn. There's a lot of different styles of homes here. Back there, there were a little bit more variety, and now these are more like attached homes in brick. Thank you, Jenny Wong, with a $5 super chat. Appreciate it, Jenny Wong. My gosh. That guy was carrying like four or five garbage bags on his handlebars. Yeah, Nancy saying paying 1500 a month to rent a studio in New York City is somewhat expensive. That's what happens here. You really pay for the neighborhood you live in and not really for the living space. New York City is um, expensive like that. Nice to hear all the birds out too. Also, I doubt these owls are going to scare away any persistent birds coming this way. So this is the next avenue over. It is blank white sign because I cannot read it. Come on, New York City, fix that now. Anyone, if they have like x-ray vision, will be able to read it. Wait a second. It says Avenue X. <laughs> oh my gosh. I said anyone who has x-ray vision can see it and it's actually Avenue X. How funny is that? I didn't know it was Avenue X, but it happened to be Avenue X.
Ali says he didn't see anything. Yeah, that's because the camera was too uh, bad to pick up on it. But I was able to read that sign when I was like a few feet away from it. move saying have I been to Sunset Park lately I have been girl in the crow asking what did the sign in the tree say what sign uh this one these are just what the parks department puts up to denote the new trees. I'm your new tree. Tree species is uh, from that QR code. But it's good to see the city planting new trees. It would also help if the city maintained them because tree maintenance is a issue in New York City as well. Uh, Christian saying Sunset Park has a lot of Hispanics from Central America, you believe? Action K goes to the Chinatown there. Yeah, um, there's a large Hispanic population in Sunset Park, especially on 5th Avenue, but the Chinatown is more centered on 8th Avenue. There's a lot of new trees going up. Look at this one. New tree and it's already sprouting leaves. Zach Briggs with a $5 super chat. Where is the Italian food in Brooklyn? Also, can you do a Brooklyn accents? Uh, where is the Italian food in Brooklyn? Well, for most of the Italian food, you have to go to the Italian-centric neighborhoods. Um, like Bay Ridge, Diker Heights, those are like really definitive Italian. But there's some good Italian places in Bensonhurst still. Um, a lot of Bensonhurst has been uh, moving towards Chinese right now, but you can still find great places like Villa Bata Alba on... I think it's 18th Avenue in uh, Bensonhurst, which is good. And if I can do a Brooklyn accent, I don't know. I mean, there's so many like different accents in New York City. I think uh, Bugs Bunny was like the typical Brooklyn accent, or at least they tried to make Bugs Bunny the Brooklyn accent. Like, let me try Bugs Bunny. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Doc? That's the Brooklyn accent they try to use. But uh, there really isn't a uh, definitive New York accent anymore because it really depends on so many things. There's so many different versions of the New York accent, like. You have accents based on religion, ethnicity, like part of the city you've grown up in, uh, socioeconomic status. There's like so many. There's a good video I saw recently. It was like um, like accent accents uh, within the eastern coast or whatever, and they detail like different accents all the way from like Maine all the way down to Washington DC and they 
showed how like different places they like pronounce things differently. Like Philadelphia is like two hours away from here by car and their accent is different than New York or Boston. I find the Bostonian accent to be very strong. Shaky days say, yep, Pak Makan Haviyat. And they always pronounce their towns and cities really strange. Like Wuba and Winsta. And uh, Simon R, thank you so much for 10 bucks. Thank you, Action Kid, for always keeping it positive and showing us NYC. Stay safe, bro brother. And uh, if anyone's in the Boston area, you would know what a bubbler is. But if you were to say a bubbler to a New Yorker, they'd be like, what in the world are you talking about? And you know what a bubbler is? A bubbler is a water fountain, a drinking water fountain. Yeah, Forbin, Colossus, Warchester, at least that's what you think it is when you read it. It's not a Warchester, it's Worcester. And um, a lot of it has to do, when I saw with that video about the accents, it dates back to the early pilgrims who came over from the old country, like from England. So many of those New England cities, they have English accents to them and English pronunciations, and it makes sense. I think Worcester is also another place in the UK, and it's pronounced similarly. That's why they call that area New England, because there's a lot of English pronunciations. So those of you that are from the UK, you can speak Bostonian a little bit. I guess. These homes are pretty charming. Carl Howard with five bucks, so you're live again, are you? Well, that means you're going to require a thing called money. Remember, there's no English accents in Brooklyn. Yep. I don't really know of any like English accents that would be characteristic of a New York accent. I really can't do too good of an impression of like New York accents because to me it doesn't really sound like I have an accent even though I know I do and for me to imitate like other places within New York City it just feels weird to me I don't have that talent thank you Mjoy with five dollars what about upstate New York accent <laughs> thanks for what you do I don't know about an upstate New York accent But a lot of the New York accent from what I saw on that video was that um, to really determine if there's a New Yorker in the house, you ask them to pronounce coffee. Because that will pretty much give it away. You have the aw sound. Coffee. Coffee. 
Not too, not too many other people would pronounce coffee that way. C-A-W. The Oz are very pronounced. Or like water. Water, another A-W kind of pronunciation. And I think I've uh, been through this before, but there's so many ways to pronounce coffee, even in other languages that are similar to the way the English say it. Like, coffee, coffee, cafe, cafe, or in, in uh, Mandarin Chinese, it's cafe, and in Cantonese, it's cafe. So there's a lot of these different things which are very similar to each other. Transliterations, I think they call them. And I think uh, there was another one. They said it was cave. Paul Ledoux with five bucks in Rochester, New York. And up here we have a nasal tone, especially the A's. Yep. Ao is saying as kohi in Japanese. John S. Stock with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, John. Now I'm on another major intersection. East 16th Street and Gravesend Neck Road. Here's the West Coast Market. Merck say you still have your old ink Brooklyn accent. Yep. I'm going to enter at the Gravesend Neck Road station. It's just called Neck Road. Oh wow, look at that. I think that staircase is blocked off. I find that quite hilarious. Hey man, I want to climb the stairs. Why is this all walled off? <laughs> I wonder where this staircase used to go to. Was this the old subway platform? This is definitely very strange. You know, I want to take a picture of this. After I take a picture of this, I think I'm going to end the live stream so I can take the subway back to Queens. But yeah. That is definitely a funny looking staircase. Let me zoom in on this because it will be, be a funny picture for my Instagram, which I don't really post there too often, but stuff like this is really unique. Now this guy's in the intersection. You can only really get a full sense of what it looks like from across the street. But uh, anyway, folks, I am going to end this live stream here at 16th Street and Neck Road. But if you enjoy this live stream, smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos and live streams like these, and I will see you next time. Bye bye, folks. Take care.